Stella, I have a moral ethical dilemma I hope you can help me think through. As a longtime Scientology watcher and critic, I feel it's my duty to speak out against the church and draw attention to its misdeeds, but I'm wavering in the extent to which I abstain from supporting public Scientologists' work. It's easy to boycott the megastar who's personally profited from Sea Org slave labor or the has-been sitcom actress who shrilly accuses critics of raping babies. However, I find myself making excuses for the second-generation musician who keeps his membership fairly quiet, the character actor in the fun Marvel film, or the older star from a 70s sitcom and cult classic films. Am I complicit in making Scientology look good, quote-unquote, by buying an album or watching a movie with a famous Scientologist in it? Is it enough to make up for that consumption by supporting ex-Scientologists and sharing what I know with others? Am I overthinking this? Hey, Stella, uh, thanks for the question. And no, you're not, you're not particularly overthinking this. This is something we all sort of uh, struggle with or think about or look at, you know, in terms of our moral compass and what we want to support. You know, boycotts are... I don't know. Boycotts are, are, are what they are. You know, it's, it's, mostly a, it's mostly for us more so than it is a, a big uh, takedown of, you know, uh, things we don't like. I don't think Walmart's going to be, uh, you know, driven to their, taken to their knees by me not shopping there in protest of their pay practices. And I don't think that Tom Cruise's, uh, you know, budget is or, or income is particularly uh, inhibited by me not showing up at his films, right? I just, I don't see Tom Cruise films anymore. I can't stand the man. Every time I see him, I just see an evil, horrible troll. So that's my problem with Tom Cruise. But uh, Michael Pena, I, I, I like Michael Pena. He's a good actor. And he's and he is in Marvel movies. What am I going to do? Not watch Marvel movies because of one guy? I mean, no, of course not. Michael Pena, you know, uh, Beck, these guys uh, who have these careers, they're getting their payday regardless of what, whether we are or are not buying tickets or, or uh, going to their movies or shows. So, you know, for, for me, the, the deciding factor is, is can I watch them and suspend disbelief? Can I, can I be entertained and, and enjoy the product that they are putting out? Or am I so distracted by the hypocrisy or the um, the abuse that I know they you know are condone and are okay with that I just can't be in, entertained or enjoy what they are putting out? I don't I don't like Beck's music. I never have. So for me, it's it's kind of a no brainer as to whether I'm going to support Beck or not. But um, Elizabeth Moss is the epitome of a Scientology hypocrite. I can't really watch her very easily in anything without seeing a hypocrite Scientologist. That's all I see when I look at her. I never see her in character. I didn't know she was in the movie Us that uh, Jordan Peele had put out recently, and I went and saw it, and that scene that she was in, I was like, oh, it's the hypocrite Scientologist, right? And I was taken out of the movie a little bit to the degree that she was in it. So it's really kind of a personal preference, you know, but I don't... I don't particularly uh, support or, or, or promote, hey, let's boycott all the Scientologists, right? I mean, like I said, it's, it's kind of a, a futile gesture. Uh, so I don't think you're overthinking it. I've obviously given this a lot of thought too. And maybe what I've said here can help you out with it. Um, you know, the, the, the number of instances of this coming up are so few and far between also, by the way, because there's really not very many famous Scientologists. And, uh, and the ones who are, um, it's kind of easy to avoid them. You know, Elizabeth Moss isn't doing, like, groundbreaking, spectacular work. And the work she is doing in Handmaid's Tale, which I haven't watched for the reason I literally just explained, um, you know, she's just, it's just hypocritical. So, uh, so as a person, you know, <laughs> screw Elizabeth Moss. Uh, but Michael Pena, I, you know, he, I have never once seen him promulgate or disseminate Scientology. The only reason I know he's a Scientologist is because it was a passing comment. And I think he was in one celebrity magazine or something, which is an in-house uh, promotional piece that Scientology puts out. So it's not like Michael Pena is out there trying to make other people Scientologists, too. And I'm okay with that. You know, you want to do Scientology? Knock yourself out. 
if you want to use your celebrity status to promote Scientology, well, fuck you, right? So that's sort of my take on that. Uh, harsh, strong words, I know, but obviously I have uh, strong feelings about it. So there you go.